welcome to another video. Welcome to Wild Side of the Nine here in Blackpool. It's the middle of the week of Wednesday. And by the way, I forgot my glasses. <laughs> yeah, I might look a little bit different without my glasses. But I can see. Anyway, how busy is Blackpool midweek? We are into the holidays now. Yeah, last day of July as I'm filming this. So I'll take a look along the promenade and see what it's like middle of the week. So I'm just here by the pipes of Poo at Manchester Square and the time is just coming up to nine o'clock and sunset at this time of year now is going to be well it's around about quarter past nine now so as we look out there towards sorry the picture's a bit shaky my camera seems to have a bit of a mind of its own at the moment can't see the sun it's gone behind a cloud i'm afraid but that's the way it looks at the moment look oh, we've got another noisy motorbike here we go anyway i'm just across the road from these hotels here the craggy dome we've got the the royals looking pretty busy actually check it out check out these bikes here wow. hey i'll tell you what there's always something going on in blackpool isn't there a lot of bikes there. The very, very fancy bikes. Yeah, anyway, let's take a look along here, shall we? And I'll bring you a little bit of the atmosphere of Blackpool, just in case you don't get a chance to come. I'll tell you what, it's quite busy as normal. Uh, that's a Manchester over there. It always seems to be busy on Blackpool promenade. It doesn't really matter when you come. Manchester's looking fairly quiet, uh, a few people sat outside, it's a very popular pub for football, got loads of screens in there, been in there a few times myself, yeah so this is Manchester Square so uh, I'll take you on along the main drag, we'll go past the central pier and uh, like I say if you don't get a chance to come to Blackpool I bring Blackpool to you. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. I normally say that at the end, but I'm saying it now at the start. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button for videos of Blackpool and sometimes beyond. So we're just about to go past these hotels now here. We've got the Royal Sea Bank. This one's had a bit of a facelift at the front by the look of it. The Blackpool Promotions Hotel, they bring a lot of people into Blackpool. Very popular hotel. You've got all the doors open here at the front. So as you can see, there's quite a few people in there in the Royal Sea Bank. And the next one along is the this is the Craggy Dom, the big sort of yellowy one, isn't it? There's a date on this as well. It says up there 1880. Yeah, so this building here that the Craggy Don is in is uh, dates back to 1880. There you go. Again, loads of people, as you can see. Nice atmosphere. Lots of people sat outside. Got a nice evening tonight. I'm going to try not to cut this video if I can, I'll just walk all the way through. We're just coming up to the, the latest Mark Kelly's. This is Mark Kelly's on the prom, check it out. Another Mark Kelly's in Blackpool. And this one, by the way, must be doing really well. They can't really go wrong, Mark Kelly's, can they? Get out, Mark Kelly's on the front, the latest. There you go, the place of music in there. Which it's probably gonna <laughs> we'll have to talk over this bit. But yeah, this building here, it does have a blue plaque on it. I have mentioned it. Read that blue plaque if you come here to Mark Kelly's. It tells you something interesting about the building that used to stand there. Well, hundreds of years ago. That's looking down Princess Street. You see the old tram tracks there, look. Of course, they don't use them anymore, do they? Oh, look at this place here. It's that new one-pound burger place, isn't it, yeah? 
That's it there, look, Prime Burger. That is the new... I'll tell you what, that tram's ringing the bell for fun. Some people on the line down there, look. It's madness here in Blackpool. Got a chippy on the corner up here. Fish and chips, food to go. Another Mark Alley's down there. <laughs> yep. There is another. Mark Ellis, just down the back there. It's called Mark Ellis Central, that one. So they've got another Mark Ellis just a few minutes away from the new one. Loads of places to get something to eat here, as you can see. Look. Half 10p bingo. Get your bingo in for 10 pence. Another well, Landau coming there, doing well. They're filling the boots. The Landau's. So I'm just going past, we've got it. As another Landau goes past. Got a few places shut here, actually. That one there, fish and chips. Shut. I remember when this was Thwaites Carousel. It was one of my favourite arcades in Blackpool. So this is what you can get. What do you think of the prices? Candy plus one pound. Let's carry on, shall we? Having to battle my way through here a bit. This is Chill Fox Fun Palace, the arcade here. I don't go in the arcades now, really, like I used to. So, just going past another pub here, this one. This is Webster's. That's quite an old building, that, actually. Yeah, there's lots of uh, souvenir shops, food places. Oops, sorry, sorry. So we're just across from the Central Pier. Here you are, Central Pier there. It's absolutely banging on the Central Pier, you know. It really is. As we go past Candyland. Candyland there. Oh. So much stuff that's not great for you. Available. <laughs> busy, busy here now, but. Oh, keep going, isn't it? We can get through here, shall we? Right. We have now made it to this junction here. This is Chapel Street. We'll head across here. Okay. Sounds like it's supercharged that that Jeep there. Just here we've got to... <coughs> Sorry, still got a bit of a cough from my, <coughs> my illness. Blackpool's only heated doggy cafe. And now we've got the Happy Days Amusement. Friends of the channel. Happy Days. Just over here we've got a trough for the for the horses. That's been there a long time that. It's a bit mad for kids, I have to say. Making my way along the Blackpool promenade on a Wednesday. Wednesday evening. Hey, hey. 
so I'll, I'll just take a look over the road over there is Odyssey um, now that's going to be lighting up soon with music and everything and dry ice, I don't know I, th I think it'll be for the illuminations yeah. But they brought it in about a month ago that's going to be going just here we've got Pyramid Plaza another big place here that's massive look at the size of that place there look all the stuff you can get in there fish and chips traditional here and now we're up to Funland yeah Funland now Funland was my number one arcade in the old days yeah it was. It's pretty much the number one. Barry Noble owned it when we used to go there, yeah. Very, very famous Barry Noble. And he ended up taking over Coral Island. No longer with us though. As I go past this place here, which is the Gruffalo. I think I'm a bit too grown up to go in there. What do you reckon? And this is, uh, it's underneath the Sea Life Centre. There's the Sea Life Centre there, look. There's a sign for you. Got a big screen here. Got loads of big screens in Blackpool, you know. I have to say, I think these big screens are quite distracting to drivers at night. You know, when you're going past at night, they're very, very bright. So, we're now going past the Golden Mile Amusements. Yeah, this is the Golden Mile Amusements. And this building here, which the Golden Mile Amusements are in, is actually going to be part of the new £300 million development, Blackpool Central development. So, I think within a few years there could be some changes to it. It might have to close, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that, but it is part of the part of the development. We've got some more places on the corner here. There you go. It's looking pretty busy, what do you think? <laughs> and we're now up to the Coral Island. I keep getting people asking me, Stephen, is the flagship bar open? That you see over there, to the left of the fish and chips, there's a red shutter door. And that used to lead into the flagship bar. And I haven't seen that open since before the the you know the shenanigans of 2021 20, i'd say it's been a long time since that place was open but anyway we're now going past the coral island and we'll just go up here a little bit i'll cross back over the road all i can smell is sugar sugar and fish and chips together <laughs> it's a weird weird combination <laughs> anyway let's head across the road shall we oh hello got the right van here is it gonna kick off in Blackpool tonight interesting let's go and have a little look out here shall we a lot of people waiting for the tram over there Go and have a look at this view, shall we? <laughs> just look at this, folks. I'm going to say it. Wouldn't you just love to be here in Blackpool right now? High tide, right now, yeah. Check it out. Mind you, look down here. Look at that mess there. Can you believe it? What a mess some people leave. Can't believe it. You come to Blackpool. You have food and drink and you just leave all the waste there. Unbelievable. Shocking that is. Well as you can see it's lighting up town now here in Blackpool. We've got the tower lighting up. The sun is probably just about down now. It's about quarter past nine. And that was a little bit of Blackpool promenade. Yeah, midweek during the summer holidays I bring Blackpool to you so you don't have to just in case you don't get a chance to come I know a lot of people watching this will be coming to Blackpool or have already been this year but I know a lot of people 
probably won't get a chance so this video is just to bring a little bit of Blackpool to you the atmosphere the sights the sounds come bring the smells mind you at the moment all you can smell on the promenade is wheat I can smell it right now it's all over the promenade honestly yeah uh, so there you go there's a lot of that around anyway that's it for this video I hope you like it if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one